Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an update to the website and some cool stuff about flight in space. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So first, I have changed flight in space to just say flight because it's easier to work with. I'm always trying to make things more organized, so now I've got badges up at the top that let you get to some of the important sections. We've got the tiny jet paper airplanes, flight simulators, and the sweet jet airliner. Today, I'm going to take you to the tiny jet. So everybody, the Tiny Jet Challenge works like this. First, you have to follow the video to make the Tiny Jet. Now, I have cut out a bunch of these. Once you show me yours complete, I will give you your version that you can assemble and start testing. The simple steps for testing is right here. It gives you ideas how to collect data. Then over here, you've got mods for your jet. And the reason you're going to mod is because of this design brief. So let's take a quick peek at it. So first, teachers, if you want to use this, you can always click File, Make a Copy, and you can change it to your heart's desire. So I've called it Mission Mod Tech, and you need a Tinkercad Tiny Jet. This is my original one, minus the back tail fin, and you must create a modified version of this. Your jet must fly straight and level and be able to hit a target consistently. The jet must be designed using the tiny jet. That was the video I showed you first. You must then fly and test that one until you can get successful straight and level flight. Log your data in testing using a data table. This link will show you how to make a data table. And then we copy and paste those into our Jamboards. Keep notes of everything you try. Take pictures with your Chromebooks and log screenshots of your design ideas in Tinkercad. I've added these links to make it easier to find the videos, but I'm going to tell you, these are also the same lessons right here, so you can really work off both pages. The specifications keep the same length. This rule is because of how fast they cut in the laser. Yesterday, as we were using this in class, students were amazed that their little wing designs and the things they changed, new fuselages, they all cut in less than a minute, which is awesome because you do your work over designing and then poof, you're off testing your new designs in just a matter of minutes. The wing must be able to slide forward and backward so you can find the correct center of gravity. And then the wing must be 45 millimeters to fit in that hole. If you make them larger, it doesn't work. Unless you've got an angle, then you can twist it to get it in there. And the fuselage needs that hook at the front to do a rubber band. Although a lot of my students noticed that the front end of my design was always bending. So you may want to change your fuselage to be more strong. Once you have a working prototype, you make the second version using the tiny jet mod video and then this is another set of the test flights that help you learn how to log your data and keep track of where you're placing your wings to find the perfect flight finally when you're doing this project you need to put it all in a design process template if you click this and launch it you can't work on this one, this is mine, but what you do is click File, Make a Copy, and instead of just Design Challenge, call it Tiny Jet, and then make sure you put your initials. And that way you've got your copy that you can edit and add all the cool stuff to. If you've never seen the design process, I'm gonna show you this arrow right here. There are six pages, we've got a problem, you've got your prototypes, you've got the solution you finally choose, then you've got the build and test where you can have all kinds of images about the one you're creating and how it's assembled. And then finally you evaluate it, make sure you have your data tables out here. And then finally you've got your presentation where you're trying to talk Mission Mod Tech into buying your design. When you're solving one of these, and this is a sample by a student, you add text boxes where you describe, you can draw, you can have sticky notes. These are adjustable. This is the wall that we we're aiming at. These are pictures of the first and second plane that Tegan did. You can have all kinds of data about your prototypes, images, and then finally on your solution, make sure you have your reason you chose it, and then make sure you also have data and images to back up what you did. On the build and test, you can see we've got the images of it again, and then finally we've got the data of the actual flights. And then on the evaluation, make sure you have information about what you did, what you would do different, what was the best part of your design, maybe what was the thing that you most think you should have changed. And then finally on the presentation, make sure you've got something that's gonna talk Mission Mod Tech into buying your product. When you're done with these, make sure you share and make sure you change to a link that anybody can view and then paste that into Google Classroom so everybody can check out your cool project. 
One thing I do want to note about these jam boards is make sure you never hit clear the frame because that wipes out the words that I added. Uh, do also know that you can erase if you don't like what you did and then also make your backgrounds awesome. You can use what's built in or you can also upload your own awesome pictures to be the background of your project as well. As far as the tools, if you've never played with a Jamboard, you've got several kinds of pens, you've got several colors. There is an eraser, there is a selection tool, there is the awesome sticky note tool where you can add these out here and put them wherever you want. And don't forget, you can also shrink and grow them. You can also change the order to bring them forward or push them to the back. You can add images all sorts of different ways. You can also draw many, many shapes. This is the text box and then a fun one if you've got a pet is the laser pointer. Hard to actually use this if you're turning in a presentation, but it is a fun thing to play with if you're just bored for a moment. When you're done friends, you can make a copy so you could share that with people. You can save frames of it as an image or you could download the entire thing as a PDF. Returning quickly to our design brief, when you are finished, you must have a text box with details for each step of the design process. You also need a text box with things you learn during each steps. You also need to have pictures and screenshots of your designs. Tinkercad screenshots are awesome as you're actually assembling your modifications. You need data tables of launches and adjustments to your tiny jet. And then finally, your presentation page must be a little bit splashy so you can get Mission Mod Tech to buy your prototype. Don't forget to turn in a screenshot of that page to Google Classroom. And then when your presentation is finally approved, you can follow this video right here to make your own launcher. So when you go home, you'll be able to play with your jet to your heart's content. Friends, if you make something awesome, have fun, or just want to share your experience with me, make sure you reach out. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those are not available, you can also just visit hlmodtech.com and you can use the built-in messaging service to reach out almost instantly as well. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.